So welcome to a brand new video. My name is Bits and today I'm going to semi edit this video because we're going to use today's sponsor Fiverr and Fiverr is a marketplace, a one stop shop for you guys to purchase logos. If you wanted someone else to design some artwork for you, uh, some lyrics for a song, to make some music, to collab with some other people and all that kind of good stuff. Where today though, we're going to look into the editing category. So we're just going to type in YouTube editor. I'm just going to put that in there. I'm just going to see what comes up. And we can see loads of different people with varying different prices. Uh, and we're going to pick three for today and see what they can do different. We're going to do three different price points. We're going to do something super cheap, something medium and something kind of maybe in the standard in the industry or maybe a little bit expensive all right so first up let's have a look at this guy i will do youtube gaming video editing professionally let's have a look at his little cinematic trailer he's got here let me guess you need an experienced video editor to edit your youtube videos well then you probably need someone who's edit for sideman circa tdg then someone that probably holds i like how he said sideman and then put zerka separately they are two different channels but zerka is part of sideman it's record for the 20 seventh most viewed Instagram video of all time with 20 million views and that someone is me we do not care I'm the only <laughs> one on this platform that has this amount of experience over the span of five years I have been this could be a good little start to go with to be honest this guy has got a basic package of 16 pound 20 standard 28 34 or 4049. We could have a look at the premium premium pack will edit and um, edit a master YouTube video master uh, with all types of effects for a good price dm me for more footage it takes six delivery days up to 120 minutes of footage provided up to 15 minutes running time color grading sound design and mixing and motion graphics i'm okay with that i think we can try and get this guy but first of all let's go back to my editing platform here because as you know and i do get this asked a lot is how do i edit my youtube videos and to be honest it's super simple and make it super super quick and it's it all depends on how i record it as well so i record it and edit at the same time and what i normally do is i usually leave pauses between so i don't i record i record constantly but i make sure the pauses so here's this for example so here's how it normally is What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where well, last time as you know we started working on this project right here which is to grab all the oil from the spire coast and then send it into this building right here which then goes into all these refineries to make heavy oil residue and here's a pause for me to move to the next transition but as you know it not only just makes that it makes polymer resin as well as a byproduct and then pause move to another location and then i do another bit do some weird sounds apparently <laughs> run bitsy run <laughs> talk to myself and then the plastic will come along these belts right here head into this location into these refineries right refineries refineries, refineries. so normally what i would do here is i would come into this i would go into my timeline and i'll, I'll literally just cut this up right here normally i'll group this just but for the sake of now i'm just gonna leave it normally i'd group it and then cut it i'll cut this probably bit out here um and then i will bring these in and it be a little bit a little bit different i'm not gonna do anything special just yet which then goes into all these refineries to make heavy oil residue but as you know it not only does mix that it makes polymer resin as well as a byproduct so what i'll do here normally with this in the background i usually grab the gameplay and i usually scale it and i usually shift it uh, so you guys can see what the information is a little bit more clearly on screen that it makes polymer resin as well as a byproduct and then the plastic will come along these belts right here head into this location into these refineries right and then i'll probably just for a funny effect i'll cut this cam here refineries refineries and then just maybe just put that to full screen i am using 1080p by the way uh, because i know obviously the footage that this is here is going to get sent to the actual editors and so on and so forth you kind of get the picture now um but normally that's how it normally starts uh and i usually crossfade all my game audio so here's my two files this is what i'm going to be sending them they're both 12 minutes 40 long because that's obviously two different footages uh one's at near enough 10 gig one's at 5.6 so the 10 gig is the gameplay and the 5.6 is the camera so i'm just compressing them right now so i can put them into a file which i can then send to whichever editors we choose and they can just download it and then do what they wish with it right so let's continue with, with this guy we're going to click continue single order of 40 pound 
49. Wait, hold on a minute. I will use licensed music from services such as Epidemic, Artlist, etc. Sound effects included. I'm going to have to add that because one, I use Epidemic. So I'll put that in my description. So I'll make sure that it uses and it'll be a total of 5264. So let's click continue. And then, okay, so now it takes us to this page. Where we're going to pay for £52.64. Total delivery time is up to six days from now. Six days to do a quick little two minute video edit. Maybe it'll come back like tomorrow, hopefully. Um, confirm and pay. And now it comes up. Thank you for your purchase. Uh, the seller needs the following information to start working on your product. How will this use uh, the order? I'll be using it for personal use. Uh, in this uh, order part, bigger projects you were working on. Um, video, video, YouTube video creation. Uh, you will need to tell me how you want this video to be or send me an example of another video of how you would like to replicate with my own personal touch or will edit like how I usually do it. The choice is yours. So I want them to edit out there. I don't want them to look at my videos and go this is what um this person usually has it because i could just do that i want them to give me a good little spin on it i want them to show so sort of, hey there uh i would like you to edit this um how you would like how you would like or feel like or feel like that doesn't make sense does it uh, how you would like um i have no uh, direction um, only thing I do ask is there uh, be a uh, montage with the clips provided at the at the end of the uh, files and then I need to attach my Google Drive link, which right now it's taking one hour 52 to upload. It's like 15 gigs. And because as you can tell, I have moved a house and I think I would have already done a video announcing that by now. Um, but I've got really bad internet here and it's so bad. It's so bad. I've got 80 down and 20 up. The only place in my town that does not have Virgin Media where I can, because I've gone from having a gig down and 100 up to having what I've got now. So this is a bit of ball hick, so I'm gonna have to leave this to upload before I can even submit this. So I'll see you in like one hour, 51 minutes. Okay, so after a good length of time, just over two and a half hours, in fact, um, I have now submitted my request. As you can see, your order is now in the works and is due by the 2nd of August. So now it's just a waiting game of receiving this back, but who knows, we might get it in the next couple of days, maybe even tomorrow. Um, but I'll let you know as soon as I get that back. But I did find this guy as well, Dan L. I will edit your YouTube gaming videos. Hey there, thanks for clicking on this video for Hi. gaming YouTube video edits. My name's Dan. I've been editing videos for well over five years. I've done lots of gaming videos through Fiverr over the past year. I could so to be honest, this guy is genuine. He's not doing like crazy flashy things. He just sat there in front of a cam. Uh, this guy does 1080p at 60 FPS with background music, advanced transitions, message me prior. Uh, up to 30 minutes footage provided, which we are. Up to three minutes. This guy's 48.59 also. Um, so I think we can just go with this guy. I think I'm just going to stick with the basic package because the standard one is... Only thing that's changing... Oh, advanced cuts. Maybe we spend a little bit more and it can go maybe a little bit longer with some more advanced cuts, but it's a little bit more more expensive. We could see. So let's confirm and pay that. Right, so I've been scouring for the a third one uh, and I found this guy. I will do a funny gaming video edit. I wonder how or if he can twist the footage that I've provided and making it funny, maybe? Uh, I think it'd be kind of interesting. Um, I am going to do a premium package as well. So this would, would more like the, well, no, this will be the second, ex well, second most pricey, right? So let's go for this guy. We're going to do a single order as well. Extra four delivery day. I will make a real slash TikTok. Should we do that? I think we should. I right, let's throw in the TikTok in there as well, just for the memes. Um, how long was this going to take again? Um, 10 delivery days. 10 delivery days. Let's do the extra fast four delivery day and go with that. So it's going to be £109 for this. £109. Okay. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Because why not? Um, person, uh, da, 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 confirm and pay. Yeah, so that's now done. We are now done. Now it's just a waiting game of when these get back and then we'll 
watch them all and see what they do um differently so i'm kind of scared but i'm kind of looking forward to it at the same time so i will see you when these fiverr videos well these creators get back to me right it's been one week later and i can confirm i have all three edits back from all three editors uh, and just remember i'm not going to show you which one's which until we do a summary after all three have been concluded uh, and also remember we have lucas who come with 65 dollars then we had prith that was 90 dollars and then we also paid Dan L $140. So I'm expecting this one to be decent um, for his work as well. So without further ado, you try to guess which one's which. And we're going to jump into the first bloody edit. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another satisfactory video. Well, last time, as you know, we started working on this project right here, which is to grab all the oil from the Spire Coast and then send it into this building right here, which then goes into all these refineries to make heavy oil residue. But as you know, it not only does makes that, it makes polymer resin as well as a byproduct. And then the plastic will come along these belts right here, head into this location into these refineries, right, refineries? refineries, <laughs> where it'll then make plastic. So the resin will go in, but obviously it needs water. And I've started working on this train station right here, which goes all the way to the water plant, picks up the bottled water, then makes its way all the way over here to then get unpackaged into these right here and then goes into there to make the plastic. And then for the heavy oil residue, it then goes into this room right here, where then that gets mixed with more water to make fuel. But as the time of this video released, you would have seen a video on how I made this room because so many of you asked how I designed it, created it, and my creative like process behind it as well. But also, as you know, we designed this right here, which is the new under express train line that we've kind of designed because we've got so much traffic going on at this side well not exactly in this area but as you know the train lines over in this location are a lot more busier than the ones i just previously showed you and because the new power plant is a priority in what we're actually making right now the water that is being transported there cannot go there without any hiccups and that includes junctions as well where possibly the train can end up stopping due to waiting for another train to pass so the whole point of this train line down here is to be be more of an express route from get from a to b without any problems or hiccups or waiting in a bloody queue because of a train he's trying to turn out of a junction so like we do with most videos it's time for a little bit of a montage Okay, so that was the first one. I don't know what to think of it. Uh, I do feel like the music at the beginning uh, that was kind of in the background wasn't kind of fitting. I feel like this person though did a little bit of research. I feel like they've either searched my channel of how I normally do my camera up in the corner with like the shadow behind it kind of thing. Uh, we can kind of see that like in, um, in like here. Um, the only feel some things I'm missing here is kind of like the zoom in on this. Uh, to kind of create that vocal point without all this information on the screen what we're talking about. And then there's this bit here where what they could have done is got the audio from the camera and the, 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 the mic shifted that and out-synced it from the gameplay Grab to remove all the oil from the Spire course to remove the unnecessary turn right there. I feel like that could have been a thing. Just to clarify, obviously, uh, this is the first draft. I could have easily sent back uh, my feedback to them and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but I didn't want to do that because um, obviously I would have been controlling how they edited. I wanted them to give them free total ROM. They don't know me as a creator. I don't know them as an editor. But I wanted them to have, you know, full free ROM. And then send it in. I feel like this was mediocre. 
Um, I feel like it could have been a lot better. But then also, I, f I wasn't a big fan of the montage. The reason being, I feel like I, I provided, I think, around 12 to 13 clips, I think it was. They didn't have to use them all, and they could have easily cut that up into multiple different ones for different stuff. They could have brought that down to maybe five um, and done some other cuts with it. We'll see what the other people do. But right now, I would give that... I would say a 6 out of 10 for my style. Um, so let's move on to editor number 2. What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory video. Well last time as you know we started working on this project right here. Which is to grab all the oil from the Spire Coast. And then send it into this building right here. Which then goes into all these refineries to make heavy oil residue. But as you know it not only just makes that it makes polymer resin as well as a byproduct. And then the plastic will come along these belts right here, head into this location into these refineries, right, refineries, refineries, where it'll then make plastic. So the resin will go in, but obviously it needs water. And I've started working on this train station right here, which goes all the way to the water plant, picks up the bottled water, then makes its way all the way over here to then get unpackaged into these right here, and then goes into there to make the plastic. And then for the heavy oil residue, it then goes into this room right here, where then that gets mixed with more water to make fuel. But as the time of this video released, you would have seen a video on how I made this room because so many of you asked how I designed it, created it, and my creative like process behind it as well. But also, as you know, we designed this right here, which is the new under express train line that we've kind of designed because we've got so much traffic going on at this side well not exactly in this area but as you know the train lines over in this location are a lot more busier than the ones i just previously showed you and that includes junctions as well where possibly the train can end up stopping due to waiting for another train to pass so the whole point of this train line down here is to be more of an express route from get from a to b uh, without any problems or hiccups or waiting in a bloody queue because of a train he's trying to turn out of a junction. So like we do with most videos, it's time for a little bit of a montage. Okay, I think it goes without saying, there was a lot of problems with that one. Hell of a lot of problems. Um, so take your pick of which one that was. Was that the $65, the $90, or the $140? There were so many things wrong with this. From the start, what's going on guys? And We can already see that he's, they've left a freeze frame here with my camera. Um, and then done a what's going on? whoosh sound with me coming in. That's all right, kind of bit of thing, but having my cam in the background there with my freeze frame that I do before every recording. What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory. I think here there needs to be an impact in music just to give that energy that's coming in with the wash video. Well, last what's going on guys? Random unnecessary wash. What's going on guys? And right welcome there. back to another Satisfactory video. Well, right there. You should never do a wash with a straight cut ever. Um a wash is motion. Um, you want to kind of use a pop, a boop, or anything when it comes to a standard cut. Last time, as you know, we started working on this project right here, which is... And then there's this. And it's... I don't know why it was left. Um, and they've left the full frame camera up in the top left-hand corner. Like, the full frame, they've not cropped it. They've not put a border around it. They've not done any drop shadow, not done any effects with it. Um, it's just a full, full screen cam. There's a lot of them unnecessary room that's around me 
Uh, technically, when it comes to gameplay, it should be very gameplay focused and not the room around you. Um, to grab all the oil from the spire coast and then send it into this building right here which then goes into all these refineries to make heavy oil residue this is all right here but as you know it not only just makes that it makes polymer resin there's no focus on the item we're talking about as again else right here head into this location into these refineries and then it comes to this bit where I'm obviously I stumble over my word. Right, refineries. So he, Refine he makes the full screen like you would do to kind of create it a little bit of like a, a comedy effect on it where it'll then make plastic so the resin will go in but so there's no zoom again here obviously it needs water and I've unnecessary silence right there could have been a straight cut to this area here started working on this train station right here which goes all the way to the water plant picks up the bottled water then makes its way all the way over here to then get unpackaged <laughs> this bit made me laugh just because like I said, I go from one area to another area. There's a silence and a talk. I feel like they didn't put that in there because they added this subscribe button down here. Um, the generic subscribe, all this kind of stuff, which you can get a lot of these generic stuff from multiple websites and that. Into these right here and then goes into there to make the plastic. And then for the heavy oil residue, it then goes into this room right here, where then that gets mixed with more water to make fuel. But as the and then there was a transition where the gameplay cut, but the camera whooshed to the opposite side of the screen and come back out. I don't know if that's just an error on their behalf, but um, and it was meant to be the full thing. Um, but before obviously sending your work to the client you're working for, you obviously want to check it. And if you see that problem, fix it you know my next pet peeve as well is audio and audio needs to have a crossfade especially when it comes to silence footage to where it's busy traffic within the audio right so for example right here it's nice and quiet because of a train he's trying to turn out of a junction so like we do with and then it's his straight cut and all you can hear is trains blah, 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 blah. and at the end there he kind of cut the audio of what i was saying because of a train he's trying to turn out of a junction so like we do with I didn't get to finish the word junction and it just comes straight in with the trains. What you should always do is a crossfade. Uh, you can quickly do that within, especially Premiere Pro, where you can get two clips and you can just crossfade them. And then that allows one audio to flow in, one, aud one audio to flow out, which allows them trains to kind of blend in with what they're kind of doing. And then we had another time lapse, which I feel like is a little bit too slow. Um, I can understand I only sent 12 clips, I understand that, but that can easily come down to 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Uh, there's no need to use the full extent of all the clips I sent, all that kind of stuff. But I feel like there was no cuts in this whatsoever, they just straight used the clips I sent. And the only reason I say this is because when it comes to this clip right here, I'm, you know, just flying in air, just getting this nice motion to the left. And then... I hit the wall and you see the guy, my, my pioneer kind of jerk and stuff. That would never end to the final cut or anything like that. But we've got to remember, I didn't give him any direction, um, but that was editor number two. And I'm going to give that about a four out of 10. Right, so we're on editor number three, the third and final ones. What's going on guys? And welcome back to another satisfactory video. Well, last time, as you know, we started working on this project right here, which is to grab all the oil from the Spire Coast and then send it into this building right here, which then goes into all these refineries to make heavy oil residue. But as you know, it not only just makes that, it makes polymer resin as well as a byproduct. Eh, eh. Run, Betsy, run. And then the plastic will come along these belts right here, head into this location, into these refineries, right, refineries? Refineries, where it'll then make plastic. So the resin will go in, but obviously it needs water. And I've started working on this train station right here, which goes all the way to the water plant, picks up the bottled water, then makes its way all the way over here to then get unpackaged into these right here, and then goes into there to make the plastic. And then for the heavy oil residue, it then goes into this room right here, where then that gets mixed with more water to make fuel. But as the time of this video released, you would have seen a video on how I made this room because so many of you asked how I designed it, created it, and my creative like process behind it as well. But also, as you know, we designed this right here, which is the new under express train line that we've kind of designed because we've got so much traffic going on at this side. Well, not exactly in this area, but as you know, the train lines over in this location are a lot more busier than the ones I just previously showed you. And because the new power plant is a priority in what we're actually making right now, the water that is being transported there 
cannot go there without any hiccups and that includes junctions as well where possibly the train can end up stopping due to waiting for another train to pass so the whole point of this train line down here is to be more of an express route from get from a to b uh, without any problems or hiccups or waiting in a bloody queue because of a train he's trying to turn out of a junction so like we do with most videos it's time for a little bit of a montage <laughs> That was my favorite one. That was that was pretty decent. That was pretty decent. The music at the beginning, I think you would agree, is it goes with my energy. Obviously, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another satisfactory. Bam, 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 clip, clip, clip. Guys, and welcome. He's got back energetic music in the background. I like the use of titles. Video. Well, last time, as you know, we started working on this project right here, which is to grab all the oil. And then the next one, he actually put me in a camera box. He put a border around there. I, I, I don't think it'll be a camera border I'll use, but at the end of the day, that can be something that can be easily adjusted. Um, but it's a good proportion box. There's, You can see both my arms, left and right. And then there's enough room above my head, not too much, uh, which is what you want. You don't want massive you know, headroom above you know, your top of your head to the top of the camera, uh, which is well proportioned. I think the only negative thing I have to say is um, there's too much um, subtitles. The subtitles for me is only in funny, memey, um, in the moment kind of thing. So when the camera goes to full screen, that's when the subtitles come on, not during the gameplay because during the gameplay, that's where you kind of want to focus on uh, the game, not the subtitles. All these refineries to make heavy oil residue, but as you know, it not only does makes that, it makes polymer resin as well. As there was no zoom here. I don't think any of them have done a zoom, um, which I thought might be a bit self-explanatory, to be honest, but I guess not. Eh, <laughs> eh. Run, Bitsy, run. And then, and, then, and then he put that in there. Obviously, that you know that kind of stuff don't normally go into my videos and stuff. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but I'm glad he kind of put it in because it's just me going from A to B like I normally do to get the next shot. But when I was doing that, I was just kind of going, eh, eh. He kind of put it in, makes a little funny moment, makes people smile and have a good laugh, you know? I love the use of the full screen. Obviously, they cut out the music to create the, the, the vocal point. And then, like I said as well, is just putting belts right here. Heading the to subtitles this on that page will just be enough. Right, refineries? Refineries. See, if you would have put titles in there where they didn't on that one, it would have made it a lot better. And then the montage, I think, obviously was the best out of them. They didn't use all the clips. They cut the clips. Uh, I think it was great fitting music for what was going on. Um, and I think you guys would agree. I love the build up to the transition there, kind of the fading out, the, the zoom out. Uh, with the blur on the outside. Um, I, I think it's a job well done. Um, so yeah, GG to this editor. Right, so now it's time for you guys to take your pick of which one you think is which. Go into the comments below, let me know, and then hit the like button at the same time. And then well, let's find out which one is which. So the first edit um, was actually the most expensive. That was uh, Dan L who come in at $140. The second edit was actually the cheapest, which was Lucas at $65. And then this edit, which was the third and final one, was actually the mediocre, which was about $90. Uh, but like I said, I could have gone back to all of these editors and made changes in the way I wanted, but I give them full free roam of the music. Otherwise, I would have put, give them my music, either from my Spotify, my own music and all that kind of stuff, my normal intro. Um, but again, that can come down to research and all that kind of stuff. Um, this edit would have took me, I would say about 30 minutes um, to get done on a normal uh, video edit. That would have took me about 30 minutes to get done. Um, and the one was that was actually late was actually the cheapest one as well, which was the $65 one. Uh, it was actually late on the deadline, uh, and it seems to be the worst. But I had high hopes for that one. But the edit that he put into this little Let thing here you need an experience was actually pretty decent. To edit your YouTube videos. Well, then you probably need so what was here did not represent what he could have done with the video itself, um, which I'm curious about.
So yeah, so again, thank you so much for Fiverr for sponsoring this video and make sure to go into the description uh, where the links are and uh, go and check out Fiverr yourselves as well. And as always, I will see you in another video. So keep smiling and I'll see you then.